Hi guys, if you're interested in bolettes, this is one of the easiest ones to identify. I hope this year to do videos on most of the bolettes I eat. And when I say bolettes, I mean a mushroom with a stem, a hat, and pores, not gills. This one is called Old Man of the Woods. It's a fuzzy mushroom. It's not a choice eater, but it's really easy to identify. I'm going to show you some identifying features of it. Hopefully the season picks up and I start finding some of the other mushrooms that I normally eat that are bullets. I'm going to cut one of these here and give you guys a demonstration. Now this has a veil underneath it and you can see it's, it's fuzzy. And this veil is going to fall and it's going to reveal pores underneath it. I don't know whether you can see the pores, but those are pores, not gills. Now as this mushroom matures, this bale will fall away and reveal the pores, but that's kind of an unmistakable mushroom. Plus it's, it's pretty fuzzy. This one's got beetles in it, so I won't be eating it. Most bolettes, by the way, are loved by insects, slugs, and many other creatures. So finding them that don't have beetles in them is pretty tough to do. Now, one of the key identifying features of the old man of the woods is it'll stain a pink to orange-brown, depending. Strobilomyces is the Latin name of this. And how I would eat this over the years, I've fried them up and they're not choice. I don't eat the stem. What I do now is I scrape this fuzz off, which is easier to do as it gets older. And then I dehydrate it. And I add it to soups. I add it to casseroles. So this is a mushroom that if you're going to eat, once you know you have it identified, you can try it and taste it. It's going to cook up kind of brownish black. It's not a pretty mushroom when you're cooking it. But it's easy enough to identify and the key identifying features of course are that it stains when you cut it in half brown to pink depending uh, once this cap opens there won't be a veil but there's a veil when it's new it's fuzzy it has pores not gills so that makes it pretty easy to ident uh, identify now there's a few subcategories of this that the purists that specialize in bolites will argue. Now you see I removed the pores and I removed the fuzz off the cap. That is what I eat. And when I find these, I usually find enough to do for my dehydrator, one full sheet. And if I don't find enough, I don't pick them. I dehydrate these, add them to casseroles, add them to soups. They're pretty good that way. Once you find them and you know you got this one, give it a shot, old man of the woods. See what you think as far as it tastes, just frying it up in butter. And then if you do like the flavor that it's gonna end up with, I promise you that dehydrating them and rehydrating them for, for cooking with is the best option you have with this particular mushroom. 
I just wanted to show it to you guys because it's one of the easier bolettes to identify and I hope in my next few videos I'll be able to show you some of the do's and don'ts of bolettes and some of these rules you may have heard over the years that are myths. Happy foraging.